Here is your latest African news. Locals in Niger reacted to the news that the country's government had suspended military cooperation with the U.S. because of illegal actions carried out by the United States. This comes after Niger also kicked out the French military for supporting terrorism in the West African country. Here is what they had to say. It really is a salutary act. We've needed it for decades. How can a so-called sovereign country invade us with a simple verbal note? Such a powerful army, and they come to occupy our territory without any counterpart, without going through the National Assembly. And what's more, we also pay for their comings and goings. Normally, there isn't even an agreement. In reality, the government was talking about a verbal note. However, a verbal note does not take the place of an agreement. Now there's the fact that we're in a situation where insecurity is on the rise, but when you see in the government's communique that the Americans aren't necessarily there to help us fight terrorism, you have to ask yourself why they're there at all. If it's not to really help us fight terrorism, since the press release says that they are not obliged to do so, I say to myself that it doesn't matter whether we denounce the agreements now or before, the main thing is that the Americans are going to leave. In absolute terms, the base where most of them are stationed is not for the protection of Niger's territory, it's an ad hoc base for doing other things, particularly internationally in the sub-region, yes. One might think that if we split up in a huff, perhaps people might think that the Americans, being what they are, might behave belligerently, but for the moment, I don't believe that. I'm waiting to see the format and content of the letter that will be sent to the Americans before I can really assess it. Apparently, the Americans want to impose a line of conduct on us. They even want to impose on us who we should cooperate with, since they wanted to jeopardize cooperation between Niger and Russia, cooperation between Niger and Iran and many other countries with which they don't get on. They also want Niger not to get along, but in return we gain nothing. Their foreign force, which is currently based in Dirku, has almost 1,100 personnel. They do not contribute. They are based there with their drones to monitor and spy on other countries. But in return, we gain nothing. Let us know in the comments below if you found this video informative. Please show your support by liking and sharing this video for the YouTube algorithm.